welcome back and last time I already um, uh, 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 completed with the light alpha uh, with the uh, cursor now we're going to create the cursor adapter and set it to the least view to display it so we're going to get back to the load activity on this one we're gonna get into the cursor okay get into um, the cursor so you're going to declare here which is product um, handler um, product handler um, equal to new product handler of this okay then um, get into the cursor product handler dot okay probably you're going to just uh, make sure this one is declared out here but it's created inside here okay product handler equal to pro new product handler like this then uh, just just to make sure the the context is already set up okay this is context already set up so um product handler equal to new product handler and we got the cursor cursor okay cursor equal to product handler uh, dot um, load all products okay then now we want to use cursor adapter cursor adapter equal to new simple cursor adapter we have to um, use the um, new simple cursor adapter and um, command p or control p in your case for for any windows case for input parameters, you have to pass in the context which is this. Then you have to pass in the layout file to display. We already created that layout file r dot um, layout dot that layout file is the product layout. Then um, um, we need to pass in the cursor which is the cursor. Next is the interesting thing. Um, you need to um, provide the mapping from the column to the um, um, activity ID. Uh, sorry, the uh, the view ID. So you need to provide the mapping. You need to map the values from column ID to text view ID, column name to text view name, column quantity to text view quantity, and the columns in form of uh, strings. Okay, um, strings. But this um, text view are in form of integer. So you're gonna provide that to arrays. So you're going to do let's say command P. You're gonna create new string array, uh, which is you're gonna map from column ID, column name, uh, columns uh, quantity, and you're gonna map it to new um, 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 view to ID. That one is um, the r dot ID dot um, text view ID. Okay, then um, r dot ID dot text view uh, name. Um, r dot id dot text view quantity okay they are the text view id text view name text view quantity with uh, they are integer values map id column to this map a name column to this map quantity column to this okay these three views are named from our product layout here okay these three views which are text view id text view a uh, name and text view quantity here okay then when we load it already we set it to the list view list view so we're as list view okay list view products equal to uh, list view okay find view by rd r dot id dot um, 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 list view products then you're going to take list view dot you're going to set adapter to the list view which is the um, cursor adapter Okay, which is a cursor adapter. If we run this one, if we run this one, okay, if we run this one, and by default we are in this form. If you click on load, okay, now it's loaded to products there. Okay, now it loads the two products there. If you click on add, all right, now we're going to have, let's say, um, product three to quantity three. Okay. If you click on add, it's added successfully. If you click on loads, now it's loaded. Okay, it is interesting. It is interesting. So, uh, just to complete the apps, we're going to um, do other things. Let's say for um, 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 update and delete as well.